up guys, this is just a really quick tool update. Um, first things first, uh, there won't be any more videos for a while, because A, I haven't got any work to do, B, my granddad's going to be storing a sofa thing in my garage. Because, well basically where my granddad is inclined is, he'll do anything for money. So this is the armchair of my granddad's brother's uh, three piece suite. And he's getting a new one, and my granddad said, don't chuck it away, I'll sell it. So, yeah, my granddad's decided it's going to be stored in here. Which I think is a load of bollocks, but, you know. He do stuff for family. So, yeah, that's probably going to take up all the room in here. So, I won't be doing any videos for a while. So, I just decided to do a quick tool update. Um, I got a stand for my air impact sockets when I get them. Uh, I've put it in there and I've realised my drawers aren't as big as I thought they were because I'm going to fill this up with sockets. Oh, it goes from a 10mm down there all up to 27mm shallow and deep, so they're probably the sockets I'll get. Um, yeah, when I was meant to be getting an air ratchet and an uh, air gun in here, but I don't think that's going to happen because I've got an air chisel and a couple of other bits in the stand. And it's taken up most of the space, but you know, I can find space when others can't, so you never know, I might be able to still get it in there. Um, so yeah, uh, there'll be a move around in there, I'd have thought, when I get it. So, yep, that's that drawer. Uh, I got some Stanley chisels, no, not chisels, punches, a set of six. 3mm, 5mm, 6mm, 8mm, 4mm, 1.5mm, or 1 apes, 3 sixteenths, 1 quarter. 5 sixteenths, 5 30 seconds, and 1 sixteenth. Uh, got them off Amazon. Uh, that's where I get all my standing tools. I think that's where I get them all. I mean, I got them off Amazon. They were a bit pricey. I mean, they were 20 quid. But, uh, there's my hammer drawer for this one. Uh, them punches are a bit too short for what I want. So, I thought I'll get some long ones instead of get some cheap silver line ones. I'll get some standy ones, so they'll go in there. Um, I want to try and get some pin punches as well, the ones with the little holes in the end. Because, like I've said before, my granddad does trains and stuff, and I'm probably going to end up helping him with layouts at some point. Because um, he makes them and sells them. So, yeah, uh, I've got a Halfords Professional quarter inch sliding tee bar, like I said I was going to get. So that can just go in there. I haven't put these in here already. Uh, I've uh, just... Uh, Literally just got them this morning. And, um, now I've got to put these back. And I thought I'd show you guys, because I don't know where my granddad's going to come round with this other stuff, uh, the other sofas. Uh, I put, I'm going to put half inch stuff in here, because I'm going to try and get some extra ratchets and stuff. Um, what else have I got? I'm sure I've got something else. Oh, yeah, um, I got a Devolve little drill set thing uh, it's not a massive one it's just got the um couple of the uh, masonry drill bits in I think the masonry if not I forget the word and a couple of um little screw bits and torques and adapters and stuff uh, that was from a machine mark that was 25 quid they're, they're all stuff's bloody expensive I didn't realize how much it was but um yeah, I'm still going to get a Debolt drill, uh, wood bits, I'll probably put a set there. I'm going to try and get rid of this little container, because I think I'll probably get another set that's got all these bits in it. So they won't have to go there. I don't know where to put this thing. I can't remember, this thing, I can't remember what it's called. Um, sorry, I didn't realise I wasn't filming, but I was looking at them. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and get rid of this plastic container with these bits, because I'm going to try and get a set with the stuff already in. I'm going to say I need a woodworking bit, and probably... Uh, what's the other type of drill bit? Uh, twist drills. I'm going to try and get some of them. And they'll all be double. Uh, I'll, I'll leave these here because they're just handy little bits to have. Uh, and then, yeah, double drill will probably be an 18 volt one. Because they're, they're probably not much worse than 20 volts and they're probably just as good. Uh, I'm sure I had something else to show you. Uh, let me think. What have I got? Oh, I don't know. I'll find it in a sec. I'll probably stop the video and figure out. Uh, oh, I don't know. I, I, my end cutters haven't come in the post yet. I don't know why, but Amazon's postage is being ridiculous at the moment. 
Um, I ordered it on the 1st of February and the actual predicted postage date is uh, probably the start of March, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, I don't need them yet, so I suppose it's not all bad. But if I was in a rush, I'd probably cancel it and go buy some in home base or something. Oh, God, that drawer's worse. Oh, yes, I put my little plies in here. Uh, this drawer's a bit full. I'll probably give it a rearrange at some point. Um, I probably have still got enough space to get my end cutters in there. But like I said, I'm going to rearrange it when I get them. Try and find some more space in there. Uh, just showed you that. Just showed you what's in there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it is all I got. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get some crow feet bit. So I'll probably move this railing over here and put it along there. And then if. Well, I am going to get metric and standard ones. And because the way they are, because they'll be like laying flat and they go that way. I'm um, to the side. I'll probably have metric ones coming off like that way and standards coming off that way. But it'll be a tight fit. So whether they'll fit in or not, I don't know. But that's the only way I can think of doing it. Um, so yeah, crow feet stuff. I might try and get some wobble stuff, wobble extensions and wobble sockets. But I really generally don't have an idea where I'd put them. I've got a space back here. I've got probably a few inches at the back. Let's see if I can show you. Just that bit of space there. But you know, all my stuff's quite close together. I mean, I could probably move that back a bit and get something else along the front here. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I told you in the last video. Uh, I'm, I'm missing some for apes deep. Because I should probably have the same size as these in deep. Um, so yeah, I'll probably get them at some point. Only if Halford's doing that. Or if I find them second hand, like second hand snap on or something. But I'm not really, I don't see the point in getting snap on stuff, to be honest. Like, no. Because although it's good and everything, this stuff's anything with a lifetime guarantee, you know, it does you a world of good. Because if it breaks, you can just take it back. And that's I think that's the main reason people buy snap on, is for the lifetime. But, you know, all the Clark stuff and all my health and stuff's got lifetime, so... What's the point? The only reason I got these snap-on screwdrivers is because I got them second-hand for like 50p. Um, I've got to figure out how I can keep these still because they're all moving around again. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, I've been off school this week because I've got a throat problem. Uh, I don't quite know what it is. But I can't. I, I've been sleeping for a long time. I think I had about 13 hours sleep last night. Don't know how I'm used to having about seven. But I'm just always tired and I've got a sore throat. So I've been off school for probably uh, yeah, a week today. I've been off. And I've had work sent home for me. Um, last thing before I go is a shout out to Brad's Engine, Giggly Ball. And I always forget this guy's name. Chazza, Chazik or something. Um, they're on the right side of my page. Subscribe to them. Uh, Brad put a really good toolbox tour up uh, last week. No, this I think it was Monday or Tuesday or something. And I'm jealous of you, Brad. I mean, you've done well. I wish I could keep my business up as well as you have with your dad. But I'm on my own, so. And I've got no work to do. I might come to America and like steal your work. Just like build, mate. Uh, get like a building next to you or something. No, I'm joking, I can't do that. Um, as much as I'd like to, I can't. But I would love to come to America one day. Then I'll probably, one day in the future, I might do that. Like, go to America and start up a little engine shop. You can be my business partner if you want. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back inside because I didn't realise how bloody cold it is out there. And I'm in a short sleeve shirt. Oh, there's my, oh, my arm's bruised from my blood test, that's proof I'm ill. Uh, yeah. I'm done. Uh, but please request videos, because I've got no work to do to show you. Literally nothing. Um, give me ideas of what tools I could possibly get, because, you know, specialty tools are always a good thing to have. And I don't have many of them, apart from, actually I wouldn't say I've got any. I mean, I've got an oil filter thing and spark plug sockets and basic stuff. 
I wouldn't say I've got anything special to. Um, yeah, and I want. Uh, don't say snap, and if you say snap on, I'm gonna rape you. Um, but I want to get names for. I want to get some wobble sockets, like I said, and I want a good brand suggestion. Um, I can't get Craftsman because I'm in England and they don't do them over here. And snap on is just stupid money. So. Yeah, give me some names. Uh, I would get them Halfords, but I don't do them. But I'm thinking of getting Clark ones. But you know, if you know any better, please put your um theories in the comments below. Uh, so yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Uh, sorry about the lack of videos, but I suppose I've been starting this channel up at the wrong time. Um, yeah. So take care. Have a good day. Uh, stay safe and keep working with stuff. Bye.